Welcome back to Music and Wood. In the next video, we're gonna create a guitar neck cradle. And we're gonna use that for maintenance and also repairing the bass guitar that we looked at last time. I'm gonna use some scrap pine here that has a twist. I don't have a jointer or a planer, so I've got to flatten both sides up to get it glued up so we can use that as a block to create the neck rest cradle. We're gonna use a belt sander and we're also gonna use this bandsaw over here. We're gonna go ahead then and flatten both sides, glue it up, and get ready for our project. Let's grab our safety glasses and get to resawing. We now have some shorter two x four blocks that we're gonna use for our project. The next step is to flatten both sides so we can glue them up and get a good bond. We can see that these two by four blocks are cupped pretty good. We've got a convex in our concave side here. What we're gonna do is support the convex side up against the fence on our band saw and then remove a layer of material on the concave side. It's gonna leave a lot of teeth marks, so we're then take it over to the belt sander to clean that up, bring it back to the bandsaw, flip it around. We'll use that flat side as reference up against the fence, run it through, and then remove the bulge here for the convex side. And then take that back over to the belt sander to flatten that side up. After that, we can glue and clamp, and we'll be ready for our project. If you've got a taller workpiece, you can increase the height of your work fence by clamping on or adjusting the height if you have an adjustable height fence to support one of the sides of your workpiece as you run it through to get it flat. You're going to want to be very careful running through here because you're cutting off just a small layer just on the outside close to the actual saw blade. So I'm going to use a push block which is going to help feed the block through and then when it gets the other side I'll pull it out. Always of course, wear glasses. This next part is over on the belt sander. We're gonna clean up the rough sides that came out of the bandsaw. It's gonna get a little dusty, so we're gonna use dust collection and a face mask. You're gonna to want to apply even pressure as you move the workpiece over the belt sander, trying to remove any of those gouges that the teeth from the bandsaw made. at the bandsaw, we can now remove the convex side of the 2x4, so we'll have two flat sides. We now have to go back to the belt sander to clean the last side up before we glue it up. We now have three decently jointed and planed stock that we can use for our project. It's not perfect because obviously we didn't use a thickness planer, but all we needed for this project were flat sides that we could glue up and have a good glue. Let's get to gluing these up 
and preparing them for the next project. I'll see you next time on Music and Wood.